Hello and welcome to another video. This is IB Gaming and we've got a new game for us to play today. This is Builders of Egypt, the Prologue Edition. Uh, currently this is in alpha testing mode with the full release. Uh, Builders of Egypt intending on being Q1 2021. It's by a developer called Strategy Labs. Uh, the alpha version came out I think in early March. Uh, this year and I did play it but there has been a couple of updates since so although I know roughly what's going to happen and uh, there might be some new things in here for um, myself and you guys to take a look into as well so we're playing this on maximum graphics so ultra everything so hopefully the visuals will still be there because I know they were quite nice um, and I know that there is only one campaign mode that we can play and it's in a hedge so uh, the win conditions um, I'm actually going to make a point of noting this down because I do remember um, that the objectives in the game were broken. So, um, in the sense of you couldn't actually see them. So, if that's still the case, I actually need to know what I'm working towards. So, pottery, I don't know if I can actually write properly, and some dwellers. So, 200 dwellers. Okay, well, that's fine. We can work with that. And actually, while I was doing that, you might have read that little prologue there. So, um, let's uh, let's get into it and just show you what this is all about. And uh, surprise myself when it's dramatically improved because it was pretty damn clunky before. But it's an alpha, so you can't be critical. That's the point, isn't it? So basically, this. Is the only scenario we can play and it's a tutorial so all we can do is actually just work through some or all of this over one or more than one episode depending on how far we have to get so um let's just move on so in ancient egypt currency was unknown work was paid for bread and beer basically um those little things you have to kind of make yourself so um what it asks us to do first is, is to get a road so people who've played city builds before will know exactly how all of this works so you've got a build menu, you've got a map, you draw on it, you play stuff. Um, for you guys, this will be easy enough for you to do. So we're going to use the um, road icon, which is just your basic uh, click and... See, as I say, the controls are a bit clunky. Um, so it's a click and drag. Sometimes things don't react all that well and things are... Kind of hidden behind things and i know the trees and stuff will disappear but um it should only let you place where the tutorial is wanting to place so it shouldn't do anything strange so now we've built the roads as to how it wants it it now wants us to build uh, some housing for our dwellers so i'll pop these down it doesn't seem to place as i say you, you sort of move move them into place and you click and then it moves away from the square it's a bit too sensitive almost um, okay so we've got a message and you right click to clear by the way what you're doing so if you want to stop building houses just right click to, to clear that so incoming dwellers we will now see them hopefully oh we've got to press space hopefully they'll now always come so demolishing a building is easy to do okay I actually want to do this before we've got our dwellers coming so let's just do all this. You can drag and do it all in one go. Uh, we just did one at a time there. So it needs a fire station. Self-explanatory. You can't turn the buildings as far as I was aware. I don't know if you can. No, you can turn the map. Z doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't do anything. Uh, okay, so um, it's time to look at the buildings we constructed as well. I think it might need just to put a well down, actually. No, not yet. That's fine. So it's time you look at the buildings you constructed. Now, it says use the right mouse button to select the house. Now, I know for a fact that doesn't work. Look, right clicking now does absolutely nothing. So it's actually left click. And they've not fixed that <laughs> from when I've played this before. So uh, very, very, uh, very slow to react possibly on something like that. Um, maybe not the greatest sign, but we'll see where this leads us. As I say, I haven't actually played this since back then so you know we, we, we could get stuck if something even weirder is broken but we'll have a look okay so um we can see the details of the building will be displayed so um can all five people amount of workers in there that doesn't even have a thing but again alpha mode expect things certain risks need for upgrade access to a well 
Um, so each house has a range so where people can go to work. So the green is... Ah, it's actually a really big circle. I didn't realise that. There we go. That's good. So they can actually work for absolutely bloody miles, but they need a road. And if it's um, quite a way away, they could do with a work camp, which is just somewhere they can uh, sleep, I suppose. So to upgrade the house, as we said, for them to upgrade, we need a well. So we pick the well. The house will be upgraded once it hits occupancy. So it's got to basically be full up by people who are going to be coming in. Uh, it works the other way around as well. So if, for example, we lost the well and we'd upgraded, the house would be degraded and we'd go back to this basic straw hut kind of thing. These should turn, if they've, unless they've changed it since I last played, they should turn into um, sort of like more... Um, more mud solid mud huts you know afterwards but we'll see uh, so we're gonna want a clay pit as asking us to do each building requires workers so production builders have a minimum number of employees so obviously the more people you've got the better at the moment no one because no one's actually here but hopefully people will start to turn up or if they're not already I think they come from this way no no one's here yet that's disappointing uh, okay so the production of wares so this will basically produce some under the ground it will produce clay in time providing it's got workers and it says right click to find out about it but as i've explained that doesn't work uh, next a stockpile so the stockpile doesn't have a predefined range you can pick up orders from anywhere so you can control what we have on here though by right again right clicking it doesn't work left clicking and you can say right for example wheat let's not take it and it will just sit presumably on the farms where you grow the wheat. Um, same with any of these things. You can choose what you'd like to do with it. But we're not going to do anything because it hasn't asked us to. So one final thing is a brick maker in this space here. Wells must be built by the river, although strictly this well isn't actually by the river. It's near a river, but it's not by the river. So um, I don't strictly think that's right. Uh, okay, so buildings with a single production chain must be connected to the same road. So, for example, this produces clay. Clay can then be used to produce a brick. They need to be connected in some capacity to get the resources between one another. So, um, that's something you need to make sure we do. So, inhabitants need food. Has anyone actually turned up yet? I oh, was still in pause mode. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, the inhabitants need food. Um, so... You should be able to see that from here. That's a moment because we haven't unpaused it, but um, <clears throat> I think once he's upgraded, I think the next one is that they need food to go up again. So I've got to build a fishing wharf. And a granary. Food from the granary is distributed through the bazaars. So the granary is just like a storage facility of food, and the bazaars is like uh, a market, I suppose. Okay, so the finished wares can be used to... I'm sure we should have people in here by now. Can we click this? We did this earlier, didn't we? I'm sure there should be people here by now. Oh, we'll see in a minute. Okay, so let's ask us to go to the region icon. This is to do with trading. Okay, so this is the region map. This is basically where you just pick people to, to trade with. So, uh, again, right-clicking does nothing. So, uh, we want to left-click. So, left-click on the selected settlement. what settlement or is it just okay abados there we go well i just kept left clicking it eventually worked uh, now trade route opening the trade route there we go so basically from by opening a trade route it just means someone from that village or settlement will come and visit and exchange things or import export etc with with you ultimately they'll just rock up every now and again over a year um it's ultimately what it means. Obviously, you can read this panel up here if you want to know more about what that says, but uh, that's the idea behind it. So, um, default option blocks the possibility to import and export. To change it, click on the economy icon, which is this one. 
So now it wants us to, the goods you already produce, you can export to Abydos are bricks. So change your policy on bricks to export. So we will allow that. And if you want to mess around with that, we can. So let's go and check the conditions of victory and see if this still works. No, it's still broken. I said still works, still doesn't work, I should have said. No, it's still broken, so we don't actually know, but we know because I wrote it down um, in particularly poor handwriting, the things we need. If we get that far, we'll see. Okay, so the tutorial will be expanded as the game develops. Uh, it wants to close the region map. And it's taken us to God knows where. Why are we paused, I wonder? Now, this is curious. So, WASD. Wow. Ah, no. Now, W moves you to the left. <laughs> oh, hang on. It might just be because I'm not facing the right way. Yeah, that's, that's actually my fault. But I don't know where our settlement is. <laughs> Uh, you can use Q and E as you would any other game like this to move around. Right, okay. There we are. That's better. And actually, just the middle mouse wheel. Hold it and uh, spin it. Right, well, it's paused, so maybe that's why no one's here. Well, that's a trader. Ah, now hang on. Settlers. Yes. Right, good. But now we should actually fill up our houses now. And our places of work. So the trader, he'll be from Abydos, where we just set up. And here he is. So he's just going to our stockpile to effectively want to buy uh, 1,200 bricks and some clay, which is great. But we've actually got no one working on this stuff because the game just couldn't be unpaused. Um, yeah, let's just get our new workforce in. I mean, are they all... Kind of stacked on each other. That's curious. Look at that. That's glitchy as hell. Come on, you need to improve this. That's basics, isn't it? They've all got little names. Actually, no, they don't. I mean, this one. Oh no, they might have different names. Anku, if any, in any. I thought the names change as you click on the different one. Um, done them again, but no, they don't. Okay. So, hopefully everyone will be going to work now. And we'll have some building upgrades. He's sweating because we've got nothing on the stockpile. And he needs some straw. Now, I don't know how to get straw. I guess we can work it out. What I might do, let's just go and check, make sure we've got everything working in order first. So, we've got a granary which should be taking food from the fishing wharf at least once we get people in there. And I think our. Who's this? Oh, okay. Someone, someone lagging behind. All of our houses are being upgraded because see, we're going from this straw dome to a almost brick-like structure so now we should have some fish coming in with some workers here okay we can see him having a little little chat there don't know if the boats actually go out or anything like that so actually this is okay um i would okay we've got no available workers anyway so i think what we actually have to do is expand out a bit so what we'll do i'll leave it here for now because you've seen the basics you've seen what it looks like you've kind of got a rough idea of how things might work so what we'll aim to do is next time we'll expand out get some more houses therefore getting some more workers and then we will look to get some farms which should provide some more food and some straw so we can build bricks um and then work on getting bread presumably through wheat through the farms um, I can't read my writing again but something to do with pottery is it what do they need oh bricks bread bricks pottery and some dwellers so we need 200 dwellers okay well that's all definitely stuff to work out and look out for it's a shame 
that they haven't sorted out the left click rather than right click situation and also looking at objectives actually we've got some more settlers coming in now so these might fill up because these houses aren't actually full so this is good but we'll do that next time so um we will catch you in the next video we'll definitely carry this one on thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed take care now